Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be doing another subscriber request. Several, several, uh, several subscribers have requested for me to uh, do uh, catfish, and uh, it really took me so long because I was, I thought that I could find some uh, um, a bone in catfish and uh, demonstrate both of them to you, but. Uh, I couldn't, and so uh, during this time of year, it'd be kind of hard to find catfish down this way like you want them in the summertime. It'd be plentiful, but I'm gonna go ahead on and do them since I've, you know, just in the past couple of weeks, I've had several people to ask me for. So uh, I'm gonna be doing some catfish for me. Let me show you this real quick, and then I'm gonna show you um, how I mix up the uh, the uh, meal and stuff for it. I'm trying to show you the size of these uh, fillets. They're kind of small, but they are really, really good. And I got them soaking in some regular whole milk. I've been having them, they've been in this uh, whole milk for maybe about 30, 35 minutes. And I have some, um, I have this, um, you make it find it in the stores. I have this here fish seasoning. This fish seasoning, I really, really like that. Like this because it's got seven, uh, several uh, herbs and spices and stuff in there that really works well with fish. And it's got a uh, got a little cayenne pepper and it got a little paprika, but I put extra in it. And uh, I think I got in some black pepper and. I don't have it over here, but I got it in some hot sauce. Whatever hot sauce you use, that's what you use for it. And I got my grease on heating, so I may have to talk a little faster than what I planned. Because I don't want it to overheat. And that's all to it with this catfish. You wash it up real good beforehand. I wash this fish, and I put it in this milk. And the reason I do mine in milk is because a lot of times you don't know what type of catfish you're getting. Some catfish... Is better than other and in the way catfish is fed it makes a difference in it now I was always told and taught down through the years that a channel catfish that's the best type of fish uh, catfish it is now with some people some people may know something different and uh, uh, I used to go fishing up at the lake Lake Martin I love to fish I wish I could show you the pictures of some of the some of the uh, fish I've uh, caught down through the years. I've caught a lot of catfish and I used to catch those crappies. Some of those crappies be bigger than you uh, both hands together. Uh, but I don't really do the fishing like I used to, but I love it. But uh, anyway, if you can go to, a, if you have a seafood market in your area, you can ask your, uh, your, uh, your market man what type of catfish it is. If it's a channel cat, it's a it's a real good thing. Uh, uh, that's a good catfish, and the uh, the flesh part of it, the meat or whatever you want to call it, the fish itself, the color of it is different. Now you got the um, let me see, you got the channel cat, and you sort of what you got a white catfish. I really like them. It look like this. They look kind of they're not meaty. They kind of anorexic like, and you try to try to get medium sized catfish that has a better flavor. But let me go ahead on and mix this meal up uh, and uh, get this fish on in the uh, pot because my husband got to go to work. Okay, I'm using yellow cornmeal. I don't normally measure it, but I'm going to put, I'm going to measure it out by the cups and see. Uh, I just normally just pour me some in here. And for this amount of fish. I'm going to go ahead on and put three cups in there just to be on the safe side. Maybe not quite three cups. Put three cups of that. And then I'm, this, is, this is the self-rising flour. You know, I told y'all I use, like, I usually use a self-rising flour to do my uh, flour in my food or whatever in so I always work better for me. But I'm only going to put a half a cup of that in there. And another thing that milk do, that milk 
kept some. I leave it on there like that, and when I get ready to put it in the the uh, this mixture right here, it helps it adheres better. Adheres to the uh, fish better. Because if I'm not mistaken, the person told me she had um, trouble with her coatings. That's when I'm mixing this meal up so that y'all see what I'm doing. I'm going to put uh, this is about two teaspoons of this uh, fish seasoning. It's, it's, it's got salt in it, but I don't have any. I just have a little this broken sprinkle over them, maybe about a half a teaspoon full, and no other salt. And um, I'm going to sprinkle a little of this, just a small amount of this Old Bay if, um, over here. I say that maybe the, maybe about an eighth of a teaspoon. I like the little seasoning in that, but I wouldn't have had I wouldn't have sprinkled this old bay over there. But this is 30 percent less sodium old bay, and I like the flavor of it when it comes to the uh, um, come to fish when I fry my fish. Okay, this is a half of half of a teaspoon right here. And I'm going to put Oh, I can't get it out of here right. And that's just a teaspoon of the garlic. The granulated garlic. Is I'm holding it right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, you know it's like I said, I'm only doing this is because a person had asked me and uh but you know to season this fish and i want you to learn this try to learn to get to start seasoning your stuff according to your taste if you know the foundation of how to prepare something and all that how to cook your meats and break it down and all that now you you all uh, personalize that seasoning to yourself and that's what gonna make that's what make uh a great cook because you're gonna learn different stuff with it you gonna learn. You gonna learn how to how to season and what worked. How you may see a difference of seasoning in the store. You might want to try on a beef or pork or fish or whatever. We like. I don't know why we like this little heat. And I. This is just one eighth of a. No, that's one four. Maybe have it too hot. How about that? That'll be okay. Uh, that was um. Uh, Cayenne pepper. And this pepper, this is some paprika right here. Uh the heart. It's uh and I'ma put just about a that fish season has some in there, but I'm gonna put these a half a teaspoon. I'ma put about a teaspoon. Hey, maybe a teaspoon and a half. And then I I don't know. But uh that paprika help you it helps your fish and and chicken or whatever pork chop you're cooking, it helps it to brown. And I think that, now that's all I'm going to put in there. I'm going to let you see the season again uh, as to what I use. A little cayenne pepper and fish seasoning. That can cover it all. Just a small amount of this Old Bay. And you can add to lim eliminate or whatever. And the paprika. Okay. And uh, I'm going to stick this out the way. Okay, I'm just gonna mix that up in there real, real good. Go ahead on and uh, do you want me? I could drop this fish now, uh, uh, Gary, if you want me to. Uh, you wanna want me to come back or whatever? If I can take this, I can I can get it mixed up all I need to right here. And uh, or do you need to reposition the camera? No, I'll have to move. Huh? I will have to move. You have to move. Well, okay, you guys. Let me uh let me go off and let my husband get set up over here for I'm gonna fry the fish in, and and I'll be right back to show you how I'm gonna drop the fish. I think I got my grease. Let me. I'm gonna test my grease. I'm gonna take a little of this meal, 
drop it over there because I had to cut it down while I was talking. And uh, so I went ahead on and I I uh, dredged my uh, fillets in the cornmeal mixture. And if this, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drop this fish. And if it's hot enough, it ain't gonna take this no more. In about, um, let me give you a ballpark figure as to how long it probably take to fry. I say anywhere from eight to ten minutes. And do not overcrowd your skillet. I mean, your, I keep calling this a skillet, but you see, this is a just old Dutch oven that I use that I fry in. That's a good fry right there. I think I can get one more for that. Okay. And guess what you guys? I'm going to set my time on mine. So I can give, let y'all, let you guys know exactly how long it took that fish to fry. I'm going to put it on 10 minutes. If it take less, if I have to take it out in less time, I will let you know. And, uh, I'm not going to stay on because I told you I got my camera while it's frying. And uh, when it, when, yeah, when it, when I, well, I just probably be back when I finish frying up all the fish. Or either I come back and let you know how long it took for that batch to fry and drop the other one and then come back once it's finished. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, everybody. Uh, the fish is still frying. It's got about. Uh, about a minute and 30 seconds left on it and I was going to show you what it looked like when I get ready to take it up and see with that about 10 minutes so uh, will be long enough for the frying. Uh, if it's not ready at that 10 minutes and it's according how you like your fish. Now my husband he like his a little bit a little more crunchier than I fried. Well but um, I want it. I just want it done. It ain't got to be too hard, and I definitely don't want it soft, like it ain't making me scared that it's not cooked good. But I'm gonna let it go that whole ten minutes, so it'll give you a ballpark figure as to how long it takes this side to lay to fry. Will it be all right for me? It's okay to sit this cooling rack over there. You want me to sit it over there? Good work, that. That's good. Okay. And you can tell how this, the the frying is slowing down. That it's just about ready. Let's see what it did at 10 minutes. Ooh, what's that? Hang it on, that's on the, on the top. It's light. What it look like, Turkey's ready to come up? It's ready. Okay. I can't see this light just blinds me. I got this fish, you guys, at uh, Sam's. It was, uh, uh, I think it was, how much it was? Can you remember that? Fourteen, nine or something. For this little, for this bag. Can you that's remember correct. how much it was? That's correct, somewhere, that's about right. I think it was, it was fourteen. I, I didn't see any bigger bag because I was, was hoping that I could, uh, find some larger size for length. But we have gotten it out there before because my husband liked this size. Me and him, neither one don't like real big pieces of fish. And uh, it's always really good. And, and if I didn't finish telling you guys the reason that I, I put that milk on mine is because um, to me, it'll help tenderize it some too, but I'm going to move this 
Can I move this out the way? And I'm gonna drop this other batch, and then uh, cause I already done drink uh dredged it. And now this probably ain't gonna cut his grease done got good and hot. This probably is not gonna take that long to uh fry that, fry this. Oh, and with my oil, I did the same thing. I, I saved my fish oil, my fish grease, and uh, and as you could tell, this was not no, it was not fresh grease. And I didn't, I had a lot of it saved, so I didn't even put in a new grease in it. I thought I was gonna have to, I was gonna, not gonna have enough in there, and I didn't really want to, cause once you use, you know, fry fish and fish, uh, you can't fry nothing else in fish grease. I don't. It's gonna take on that taste. You know how aggressive the smell and the taste of fish can be. And that's another reason that I, uh, I have, I have gotten fish that had like a, if you know what I mean, a fishy taste to it. But I, I learned that that milk would take away a fishy taste in case it's fishy. So I just always. Like the soap to put it in that. You can you can even put it in buttermilk, but I always use the regular whole milk so that um uh my meal mixture and stuff that would will adhere to it better. Okay, uh, you guys, when I finish finish uh, finish frying the fish, I come back and show you guys the finished product. Okay, everybody, this is the uh, finished product of the uh, Southern Fried Catfish. And uh, as you can see, I let it fry 10 minutes, and that was perfect. And uh, if you have any questions about the fish, just drop me a comment, an uh, email like you've been doing. And you know I'll be glad to help you in any kind of way I can. Uh, can. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead on the end of this video out. And then I'm going to go over and I'm going to break a piece and let you see what it looked like on the inside. But if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. And... Uh, Give me a thumbs up if you have if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment down below with anything you want to say. And um I'm about to I think I'm gonna stop saying that they'll subscribe and all that because I really can't get it right. But anyway, I'm gonna go over here and uh uh serve you up a piece of I mean uh let you see what the uh fish look like on the inside and I'll see you guys at my next video. Bye. Okay, you guys, I'm just going to take my hand and get a piece. Ooh. God's falling apart. Can you see on the inside? Is I got it right? Well, you can see on the inside? Yes, it's looking good. I feel like I'm going to eat it right now. Okay, and it's all crunchy on the inside. Let me break another piece to show you how crunchy it is. It's crunchy, but flaky. And soft, and that's the way you wanna. That's the way you wanna have your uh, fish fried. Now you better believe this. I just broke up. I will be eating this as soon as this video go off. <laughs> I love catfish. Okay, you guys. I'll see you guys in my next in my next video.